All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about buying a property for a rental with little to no money. Ideally, none of our own money. Household easy, we close fast, and any time that works for you, your house don't need it, we'll throw cash. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about buying a rental property with little to no money. Ideally, none of our own money. I love doing this. So the approach that I typically like to use is referred to as the Burr Method. And the Burr Method is an acronym. It's B with four R's behind it. The B stands for buy. The four R's stand for rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. So the entire structure or the entire model, the acronym Burr stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and then repeat. And it is very, very simple. But how do we do this with little to none of our own money? Ideally none? Here is how, it's very, very simple. What we are first gonna do is we are going to find a motivated seller or a property owner that is going to sell us a property at a discount. It's gonna be difficult to do this with little to none of your own money in the end if you are paying full retail for properties. So don't do that, okay? Instead, buy properties at deep discounts. So that's the buy side, buy at a discount. Next, what we're gonna do, oh, before we move on, you can use other people's money to buy the property. In fact, I have used private and hard money lenders to buy 99% of the properties that I have purchased in the last 10 years. Probably over 200, maybe even as many as 250 properties that I've bought with other people's money. So again, you can use OPM or other people's money, private lenders, hard money lenders, maybe, um, maybe even you know some other sort of creative financing plays which is awesome right but you can use other people's money to buy the discounted properties next we're gonna rehab those properties here's the beautiful thing you can use other people's money to rehab the property when I'm borrowing from a private or a hard money lender I typically ask for the purchase and the rehab I'm not wanting just one or the other, I want both from them. And you can get that money. So you buy it at a discount. You use someone else's money to go rehab the property. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lease the property or rent the property. And I like to leverage other people and other people's money as much as I possibly can. So I typically have a property management company go do the leasing and the management for me. So I'm gonna buy it at a discount. I'm gonna rehab it, both with other people's money. Then I'm gonna rent it with somebody else's business and time and expertise. And then last but not least, I'm going to take this asset to a bank and I'm going to refinance the property. And assuming that I can be all into the property at 80% of what it appraises for or less, and my banking institution, my bank or my you know, local credit union, typically speaking, will give me a loan of 80% of what it appraises for. So our goal to do this with no money is to be in under 80%, all in, purchase and rehab of what it appraises for. Now, if I'm a little above 80%, then I might have to put a little money in at refi. But I have done this almost 200 times, the Burr method, almost 200 times with no money out of pocket, okay? So we will then take it to a refinance or to a bank or a uh, credit union, losing my words here, and then we're gonna refinance that property. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it appraised, we're gonna get a loan, we're gonna take that loan, we're gonna pay off our private and hard money lenders for the purchase and the rehab. And then we now have ourselves an asset that has used little to no money, ideally 100% financing to acquire. That property is also rehabbed and rented. So not only is it of high value, it's gonna be easy to rent because it's just been rehabbed and it's going to appraise for the highest amount possible. It's gonna hit the market ceilings because of the fact that it had been rehabbed. And then additionally, we're gonna be able to charge market rent or above because we are gonna have a product that is going to be nicer, newer, cleaner than a lot of our competition, the other places that those tenants may be looking to rent or lease, all right? So it's such an amazing strategy. And then the last part of the Burr method 
that is the last R is to repeat the process. So then we're gonna go back and we're gonna find another motivated seller and we're gonna contact that lender that we use, that private or hard money lender, and we're gonna do this process over and over and over again. I've done this almost 200 times with the Burr method. It is such an amazing model and it's helped me acquire hundreds of rental properties, literally. It is such an amazing process. But the most important thing here is, is that we can leverage other people's money. We can leverage property managers. We can leverage banks. And I didn't even mention earlier, whenever we're rehabbing the property, I don't swing a hammer. I don't paint. I don't know how to do drywall. And I don't expect you to either. We can leverage general contractors or subcontractors to rehab or renovate or update the properties. So we don't have to become an expert at any of these individual trades for fixing or leasing or bank financing. We can leverage all these other individuals. But what this does is it allows us to acquire rental properties with little, ideally no money out of pocket. And that is a beautiful thing. It is allowing us to create cash flow that pays us every month. The tenants are paying these properties down for us over time. And additionally, it creates tax advantages, which offsets our earned income, allowing us to pay less in taxes because we can depreciate these properties on our taxes at the end of the year, which essentially helps us build wealth. And the cool thing about doing this is it'll allow you to snowball your wealth over time because your properties get paid down. Ideally, they're going to appreciate a little bit every year, but over time that appreciation adds up and the entire time that you own this property, assuming you manage it well and that it's rented, it's gonna cash flow. So the advantages are incredible. And the cool thing is, is this process is not difficult. It's actually incredibly simple. You just need to know step-by-step step how to do it. And I've broken it down for you in this video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about how you can use the Burr method to acquire properties with little, and again, ideally no money out of pocket, as well as little to ideally no money in the end when you go to refinance that property and add that property to your portfolio to help build your wealth and create passive income along the way. House so easy, we close fast and anytime that works for you, your house don't need it, we'll throw cash